How's it going guys? So today I'm going to show you how to check the date on your electric water pump. This would be for your N52, N54, N55, anything that has electric pump. So basically pretty much all BMWs 06, 07 and up. Depends on what model it is. So anything with the newer engine. Um, let's go ahead and pull the skid plate on this E90 and I'm going to show you how to check. Okay, so a couple reasons. You try to be a good BMW owner, you try to leave the skid plate on it, and skid plates are for goose. I've been preaching this sermon for years. Here's why. So here's the front skid plate. Now we still have the aluminum one on for the all drive model. We'll leave that one on, we won't take that off. Um, this one's actually pretty clean. You can see where something's been leaking in that side of it. And this fell out of it. Oh, a eccentric shaft sensor, a VDO Siemens eccentric shaft sensor. So that had to be from before, because we didn't drop it in there. Still got a bolt left in it. Had to be from the shop in New York. And uh, I would venture to say that that's probably good. It looks really new. I'm not really sure. We have a coil pack snap lid. And on this car, this is a all drive model. I have all these little eight millimeter screws and they're all rusty and nasty. And uh, so we have one, two, three, four screws, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 14, 14 or 15 screws that takes this off. Okay. Time being, we're gonna leave it under there. We're gonna take all the screws up here. Some of them were missing, some of them weren't. Some of them were hung down that down that deal right there. So let's set those up here out of the way. Getting dirty, don't have our gloves on. And let's slide under this thing. Sorry for moving around so much. And let's look what's going on under here. Aha! So you can see, maybe you can see. There is a little bit of a coolant drip on the bottom of that thermostat. This actually has a metal thermostat in it. Other than that, the hoses look really good. Those had to have been replaced, which is a good sign uh, for us. Look how rusty the power steering lines are from being trapped under that, under that cover. So I don't know. I can see it is a genuine BMW pump as BMW and Pierberg. So either, I mean, obviously at this point, somebody's had to replace it, right? 149,000 miles. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't see any signs of anything going wrong. Somebody has replaced these hoses. Not that one, but that one they have. You guys probably can't see none of this. And, you can see there has been something dripping down here slightly and a little seepage around the bottom that's pretty normal looks like it might be coming out of the sensor out of the thermostat uh, but the car never drips is never low on coolant it's just a little bit of seepage yeah so i don't know what to do with this thing like i said there's no issue we we're just trying to find the date on it usually the date is a little round circle with a number in it and that number is a year and it has dots i think the dots is what month or something in that arrangement uh, it looked like this one has stamped on the back. You just never know. Everything's different year to year. And uh, so I don't know. I mean, usually it lasts 80 to, almost knocked the jack over, 80 to 100,000 miles. The N54 ones with the plastic front last a lot less. Usually N52 are pretty good about holding up to around 100. Uh, like I said, with 148 though, I don't know. It's a pump's about 200, they vary all the time. It's about 200 bucks uh, for a thermostat and a pump. And probably ought to do a few hoses, but ours look like they've been replaced. So that's the situation. Do you waste 200 and, let's say 250 bucks on it, or do you not? Um, on this car, it's not near as hard to change as like a one series or something. Uh, we'll have to pull that aluminum skid plate out that covers the front diff on this one. 
on a regular car you will not have that so i don't know i mean that's how you look it up um it was a good idea the video is kind of a flop i guess but we'll still make it so you guys know how to identify your pump and that's gonna be it so that's all for identifying the date on your n52 n54 and so on electric water pump we'll see you later guys have a good day